MMA fighting and we are the man known as the face of Bellator and what a beautiful face it is. Richard Coyley, did Bellator bring you back to save the day after losing two of the most important fights off this card? Because it came very late, the announcement that you were going to fight Hardwick. Is this what happened? I should be wearing a pair of tights and a cape because yes is the short answer to your question. They called the face to save the day. So um, look, it's off the back of two, unfortunately it's losing two two great fights two great fighters off the card like I think Queely's fight last time was you know was fight at night and there was you know there was everything in it there was emotion there was drama there was you know so you know I think you could put that fight on any on any card any world class card and uh, you know so and his walk out everything is theatrical so it's it's a big shame to lose him and obviously James we all know what James brings so um, so yeah it's unfortunate that we lost him but look Bellator knew who to come to call him to when they wanted a bit of drawing power and um and here I am. You know, there was um, a lot of talk about Michael Venom Page in your last fight, his antics inside the cage. Like, you're a man who's never shied away from some antics before in your life. I mean, do you have any expect, uh, issue with that at all? No issue with that whatsoever. What I have got an issue with is how he conducted himself after the fight. That's an issue. That makes it personal for me. Um, so, so he's personalised it. So if he wants to go down that route, absolutely. So I'll address him when I want to see him. And this time I'll be addressing him as a fully fit Richard Coyley. Um, not someone who's handicapped with um, a severe injury that you know only had one one arm. And he, but no, I don't have any issue. That, to me, that's all part of the theatrics. Like I get that. You know, I'm like that. I'm, I can dish it out. I'd be able to take it. I understand that. Draws eyes to the fight. Draws eyes to the, you know. And that's that's all good. Is it hard getting like you know you're when you're in a viral moment like that? The whole fight was viral from the moment it started, right? The press conferences and everything. Is it hard when you're getting such an influx of social media? Blah, blah. I know some of it, a lot of it's positive as well. You have a, a big fan base. No, look come here. I, I take it the roof with the smooth. What what was difficult was that the circumstances. So I'm pissed off. I said it to everyone here. I'm pissed off. Pissed off with the circumstances that occurred around the fight. I'm pissed off with the fight itself. I'm pissed off with Page. I'm pissed off with Bellator. Bellator pissed off with me. John Cavanaugh was pissed off with me. Everyone was pissed off. So I'm there like, fuck this. I don't even know George Hardwick. I'm pissed off with him. Um, so he seems like a solid dude, nice enough dude, but I'm still going to knock him out on Saturday. <laughs> why, why is Bellator upset with you? Because I was dishonest in the lead up to the fight. Um, I hid the nature of the injury. They would have pulled the fight. I hit it from John, he would have pulled a fight, um, and rightfully so. I, know I don't have any qualms about that, but that fight wouldn't have come along again. Um, the, you know, I, I knew I had it was I knew walking into the fight what the likelihood is was going to happen, what the outcome was going to be. I only really had a left hook. Um, I was trying to bait him and antagonise him that he'd come out all guns blazing. He's too 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 experienced for that, um, and I had a feeling he was going to be too experienced for that. And he wasn't as fast as I thought he'd be, but he timed me well. Like I didn't, I didn't want to get direct, like specific movements. Was like getting tasered. Like when he was hitting me on the, the gloves, it wasn't. There was no, it wasn't impact, but it was like getting tasered in the, the, the back and neck. It was deeply unpleasant. Um, even when I threw a kick, it was just there, like, and I could see him in there. He was really rattling the lead up to the fight. I could see it at the press conference that I saw backstage. You know, he was used to being the hammer. You saw what hit the press conference at Daily and all this. So they used to, to like, that's all. He, everyone is kind of rattled by this. He knew I wasn't, and that rattled him. And it was only when he saw how hindered my movements was, that's when he started loosening up. And that's when all the theatrics came out like that. Um, but that wasn't his. That wasn't... He can credit himself with that injury, but, like, he was... With that win, but... Great, you, you beat a fellow who couldn't move. Well, well, well done for you, man, you're... Star. Did you have so? I mean, did they only discover the injury after the fact? Like when you're in the medical room, they're like, "Oh, this this guy's arms in a bad way here." I think Bellator. Well, so what happened was, I made it. I, I put up. Um, I put up. I felt like I needed. To, I wasn't making excuses. That wasn't for people outside. That was for family and friends who had supported me and bought tickets and had had, had invested in me. Um, so I felt they needed an explanation. It wasn't an excuse. Um, but I felt they deserved an explanation as to why, because. Anyone who's seen me fight would know that's not me. That's I've never fought like that. I've never fought my hands up like this because and now I moved. I was like stiff. I was fighting like Terence Brazier. Um, the, 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 the hits never stop coming with you, Kylie. <laughs> except without the spooning. <laughs> um, so you know, I felt that people deserved an explanation, and Bellator picked up on that then, and John didn't know about. It, so he was there like what. 
he felt as though it made him look bad nearly like the fact that you, you were injured and I don't well there's a I think there's a reputational element as well but no I don't think John I think John wasn't uh, it wasn't the fact that he, I think John's primary care was that a fighter went in under his care not fully fit so it was for the welfare of the fighter but he was pissed off that I put myself in that position let's say I had something more serious out of a court out of and they go to John why is he fighting there with his, and he, John goes I don't know you know I, I don't know and you know so I, John was justifiably pissed off and I had to have I had several conversations sit down conversations with John I was there look this is my reason for it. and I think he understood my reason for it like my, the, the, my primary motivation and concern going into that fight and you can say what you want but there's very few fighters would have the courage to go in and do that in that condition um, and my I'm not going to lie I, I wasn't feeling great walking in about it. I knew what was the likelihood of what was going to happen we all see what happened with Cyborg you know with the knee so he has the potential to do real damage against a fellow who's static um, but my primary uh, concern going in there was my son I was doing it for him and the, I suppose the the possibility of maybe getting a house out and that type of stuff and so it was a win-lose situation I won in terms of my goal was achieved but I'm pissed off now I'm lost now it's a really uh, it was sickening that the fight went the way it did because I didn't perform the way I know I can look who knows what way that fight would have gone but I tell you one thing it would have been a hell of a lot more competitive and he wouldn't have had a you know I could easily have turned his lights out as well um, in that fight if I had been uh, full complement to health do you regret it? Do you regret fighting that night now in hindsight? Like, given all the stuff, like Bellator getting upset and John? No, because, like I said, my primary concern was my son. I regret the circumstances. I re it's sickening, that, and still sickening, that it was like, this is just bad luck. Like, a big mongo like Johnny Walker dropping you on your head. I was there like, what are you doing? Is that what happened? Johnny Walker spiked me in my head um, in positional sparring and he had my arms and I was just there like and he came down with his weight on top of my neck um, and cut off all the power into my right arm um, like I mean was there was there issue there in the gym did you know immediately basically I jumped up straight away and I was there it was like electricity shot out of my arm I jumped up straight away I was going to deck him um, and I was there like that oh there's something seriously wrong here and that's that's what happened um, are you are you uh, confident that you will get back to winning ways? That you can get that train rolling again against Hardwick? Look, I, this is a cliche that people try to out, but like there was potential for uh, serious long-term damage in the arm, and thank God that didn't come to fruition. It didn't come to fruition, and uh, and I feel really good now. I'm moving like I like like I have done previously. I'm slick, you know. I can't be touched. I don't think. And I don't mean this disrespectfully, but just my fighting style doesn't lend me to getting hit much in, in the training camp. I've had lots of rounds. I don't think I've been hit much. Um, and I've been dishing out hits. Um, you know, and like to be fair, my training partners have been accommodating what have you. So, so that's no reflection. They were uh, mimicking, I suppose, George. Um, but look, this is a tough fight. I think this fella is uh, George Harbick is a legit. He's really legit. He's very solid. I think you know, he's going to have a really solid career in Bellator, just his debut is not going to go particularly well for him. Um, but I think he's going to do well in Bellator, just I hope he enjoys the experience of Saturday night and just eliminates that first, that, that the first two minutes were in the cage from it because he'll have a great walk out, he'll be appreciated by the Irish fans on the way in, he'll be appreciated on the way out, just he won't be appreciated that much when he's in there for the short time he is. Pink shorts. Sorry? Pink shorts. Look, the reason why we're all coming here. What? The reason why we're all coming here to see those pink hot pants. It's the, it's not the coat, it's the hanger. It's the way I wear them. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to reveal, are the, are the shorts going to be pink this time? They might be, uh, they'll be pretty, I'll put it that way. They'll be pretty. Like, like the face, they'll be, they'll be shorts that I would be, uh, that would be... I so compliment the face? That will, yeah, that would be complimentary of the face. That would be just, that would be worthy of the face. Richard, thank you so much, man. Good to have you back. Cheers, my man. Thank you.